everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to talk about another frequently asked question and that is do I take notes and more importantly how do I take those notes? So I am looking back reflecting on my notes from regulation and a few things that I want to point out first are my supplies. So I do have the Becker regulation book. Um, I have the happy notes notebook and this is just like a regular happy notes notebook I don't know the exact name um, and then inside the happy notes that you can pull in and out and then put back very easily oh my god I have been trying to find this model liner for like the last five minutes and it was next to my book so that's cool so the highlighters that I used um, are the mild liners. They are a little bit pricey and throughout my CPA studying they have gone almost completely dry. Like that's how often I would use my highlighters. And I would use them for different um, color coding aspects. So this would be like main headings, the, pa mm, the pastel yellow, and all these are in the pastel line. And then the subheaders would be an orange. Um, usually I would put any like knots or exceptions and pink because pink kind of reminded me of red red stop you know stop look this is a no um blue would usually be a pass key and then this turquoise teal color would just be like kind of random but usually it'd be under um if there is another subheading under the orange one it would be the green so those are the main su highlighter supplies that I use, the mild liners. I also just got um, these, which were a much cheaper option. The mild liners usually retail at like Walmart and Target for like $16 or $17. Um, but that's for like the bigger packs, the pack of fives. I think I spent like $8 or $9 on. Um, but these I got, and they're actually really nice. They're called Frixon, um, Pilot Frixon. And they're like in the pastel line because I really like pastel highlighters. I just find it easier to read through. Um, however, these are not as light as the mild liners. But they do like erase here. I will show you very quickly. Let's move you right down here. So I'm just going to write that line. Zoom in. Okay, so that was with the purple. I'm going to use the back of the marker right there and I'm just going to erase it. So this would have been really nice to have while studying because sometimes I did highlight using the wrong color and then that would kind of throw off the color coding. Um, not necessarily a big deal, it would bother my OCD like a lot though, but it was manageable to say the least. Okay, let me get you back centered here okay so that was the, these are the new highlighters i have they are darker but they are cheaper the frickson for the pack of five was only five dollars and that was at target that was a, another option i wish i kind of had um, but at the same time they are not as pastel as okay sorry we're back my camera was just not staying still um, so these are the most common pens that I would use during my studying. Um, it honestly depended on my mood for that day and how I wanted to write. Um, but first, this is the Happy Planner pen. Um, it does have a nice point. There we go. Um, however, I did not like using this pen and then highlighting over it. The the highlighter like really smeared the pen but the highlighters wouldn't smear the other pen so this one I used um, a little bit but not as frequently as the others but thought it was definitely worth men mentioning this one is just your basic Bic pen um, I really like it just to get like a nice writing um, it doesn't smear and it's just really nice to go back to the ballpoint pen every once in a while then we have this Sharpie pen. This is the Sharpie Fineliner. And 
this also has like a really nice fine tip and I love writing with more of like the felt tip fine liner pens um I got this during my BEC studying so the ones that I used for the reg were all color coded and here they are there's a few other colors but these are the ones that I use for the most part and I would just if it was like a pass key or something, like you'll see if anything, oh, you know what? I used this one specifically. It's like that tealish color. Um, I use that for any acronyms that they would give me. So that was really important. Important just to help the acronym stand out more. Then last but not least, the Steidler. Steidler is my absolute favorite pen. It is the Fine Liner Tri Plus. Let's see. There we go. Try plus fine liner dry safe. And this one did dry the fastest, which is why like I loved it. And I literally wore down the tips to the like bare end. <laughs> um, so those were the pens I used. Now let's get back to what this video is actually about, and that's how to take notes. Um, this can apply to anything, but specific specifically speaking, the CPA exam. So we're just going to go through a couple pages on how I would take the notes. So first up, I'm going to be moving this back and forth. I had this page. This is the very first page in regulation. Um, and it just kind of went through the individual income tax formula. Right? Okay. So how I would do that is... I'm going to lift you up now. I would... Write down module one, regulation, regulation one, and this was part of the lecture video. Individual income was the main heading, as you saw here, so that was highlighted in yellow. Then we go right into the main formula. This is a very important formula, so I knew that I needed to write it down. Even though it takes up almost a whole page in the textbook, this was a big thing, so I wrote it in my notebook. So anything that had like an important um, total, like AGI, I know is important for my tax class, so I highlight that in orange. Arriving at taxable income, very important, put it in orange. Now you'll see off to the side I have these little notes, and this is just to save time and to save space in your notebook. Gross income, page two. I'll show you that in a minute. Adjustments, page two. And then I said AKA deductions um, to arrive at AGI. They really highlighted on the next page that it's to arrive at AGI, so I made a note of it. Let me go to itemized deductions, page two, um, and then just so on and so on. I just wrote little notes next to it instead of having gross income as its own paragraph, writing all the stuff underneath it. I know where to reference it and how to do that. So let's go on to the next page so you kind of see more of what I'm talking about. So as you can see here, gross income had a large list of things and so did adjustments and so did the other one. So now I know in my notes that on page two, that's where it's gonna be. Now let's go to the filing requirements. Filing requirements would be in yellow um, and then all of these little headings that you may see are going to be in orange. So like who must file, when to file, extensions, filing status again would be a yellow and then these two would be orange so let's just go down to the end of the page filing requirements yellow filing status yellow and then I would just write little notes next to it um, since I did mark that it was in module one I know exactly where to look at if I need a deeper description of each so that's kind of just how I went through that and then let's go on to the next page I'll show you the acronyms so this right here are the acronyms. We have CARES and SUPPORT. So right here I have CARES and SUPPORT and I use that green Sharpie fineliner pen that I was discussing before. And since this is all under that filing status heading, I use the orange for head of household, blue um, for the separate paragraphs under head of household just to further help me understand. And that's kind of just how I went down. Now, the important thing to take away from this is you want to summarize what's in the book. We're not writing word for word what's in the book. Summarize, summarize, summarize. Because you want just enough in your notes to trigger that memory of what you read and what the lecture went over. 
Now, with that said, it is important, like, when they mention these acronyms, I wrote them down. If they mention an equation, you write it down. It's the extra details that are important, but aren't the necessary information that you need to know for basic questions. So that's something to keep in mind. Now, this is a very short video. If you want to have more detail on how I took notes, write it in the comments down below, and I'll write and I'll make a longer video, but I thought I would just go through and go over the special tips that I have, what color coding process I used, and how to quickly summarize what is in the book. So I hope this helped some people. Let me know. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more studying videos, more planning videos, hit the subscribe button. And as always, follow me on Instagram if you want a more consistent daily um, content, I guess. Alright, bye guys.